Hey everyone, welcome to another Keymate AI use case video. Today, we're going to be explaining how to bring uh, Keymate actions, such as uh, Keymate memory, into a custom GPT that you can make. To start, we're going to first head to the Explore GPT page, as you can see on screen now. From here, we're going to head to the top right corner and click Create. Now, this screen will show you how to use natural language to create a GPT, as you can see. Um, in other words, you can just chat with, with ChatGPT and it will create a custom GPT that um, it thinks fits your requirements. However, today we're going to be using the configure tab. Um, this is like the manual approach. So once you're here, you can see that there's several input fields that you can use. Um, to start, you can add a name. Uh, for this use case, I'm going to be creating a simple um, history um, custom GPT that will um, save responses um, about historical events and facts to our Keymate memory. So there you go, I'm calling this history tutor. And the description, I'll say, um, answer a user's question and save it to their Keymate memory. Perfect. Great. So we're actually gonna we're gonna skip the instructions and the conversation starters and head right to the bottom. So under capabilities, you can see that there's web browsing, um, Dolly, and code interpreter. We're gonna keep web browsing enabled, um, and we're also gonna keep Dolly enabled, but we won't keep code interpreter because I don't think we're gonna need that for this custom GPT. Uh, so now uh, the next thing we're gonna do is go to actions, and we're going to uh, create new action. This is where we'll import the Keymate API and the endpoints from that API. That's how you get the um, actions. So go ahead and, and click authentication and then API key. And then here you're gonna paste in your API key um, and all Keymate users will have an API key, their own unique key. Uh, so head on over to your plans page. So once you're signed in, you can click on plan. And if you scroll to the bottom, like you see here, you'll see your unique API key. So you go ahead and you copy that and you can also um, revoke the key and regenerate um, a new one if needed. Um, so once you have that pasted, you can go ahead and, or copied, you go ahead and paste it here. And then this is the bearer for the authentication type. So you make sure you check that and then go ahead and hit save. Cool, awesome. So the next part is schema. Um, so from, this is basically um, what exactly we want um, the actions to be and where we want to import them from. Um, so there's actually a great um, Keymate help doc that um, explains this. And you can see it on screen here, and I'll make sure I link it um, in the description below. Um, but it will give you the link to the, uh, the specs that you're going to need. Um, so if you click on that link, you'll get this page. This is what it actually looks like. You do not need to copy and paste the whole page, although you could if you wanted. Instead, we're going to copy the URL. And we'll head back over to the custom GPT creation page we'll paste it and we'll hit import and as you can see that looks just like the page we came from so that's how we know that it uh, imported correctly and the last thing we have to do um, well first we can look at the endpoints these are all the endpoints that uh, keymate offers um, basically an endpoint is a function uh, that you can call that does a unique um, task uh, so in particular what we what we're interested in is things like save um, this will um, allow the GPT to access um, your um, Keymate memory and save whatever it is that, that you're interested in saving. And there's a couple um, different endpoints on here that do very important Keymate memory tasks, as you can see. Um, and it, it will do this for you. These are all accessible. You don't have to individually call these. Um, you can explain in, in natural language and it will go ahead and call the correct one. And then for the privacy policy, which is the last thing we need here, uh, you go ahead and just type in the, the Keymate homepage for that. Great, now that we're back at the top, we can um, see that we imported everything correctly. So now we'll go back to the instructions and the conversation starter, and you can see your new actions are at the bottom. That's how you know they imported correctly and were saved. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll give it the, um, the custom instruction that we want. 
Um, and again, this is a very simple custom GPT. Um, you, you could make this, you know, several magnitudes more complex if you wanted to, but just for the simplicity of this video, um, uh, we're going to start out with a, a very simple one. Um, so, so this says a user will ask um, a history question and you will answer and save the response to their key main memory. And that's what you're telling the model to do. And then you can go ahead and you can give a conversation starter if you want. Uh, that will show up uh, right under uh, the GPT name on the right, as you can see now. And we'll just say, you know, tell me about the Roman Empire. Something very simple and, and generic. Um, and then we can go ahead and we can actually test this in the preview here. Um, so if we go ahead and we click on, um, on the tell me about the Roman Empire, it will actually start the conversation. And if you're interested, you can um, add images. Um, that's not important for what we're trying to accomplish here, so we're going to skip that. But you can customize this further by adding in custom images. Great, so now it's going and it's pulling this information. It's actually not using Keymate for this aspect. Um, because we uh, kept the web browsing under the capabilities. Um, so this is using Bing instead of um, Keymate's Google um, search, which we could uh, use if, if we wanted to. Great, so now you can see we have our response here. That's awesome, it looks good, it's very detailed, very long, that's, that's what we want. Uh, so now we can go ahead and we can say, save this response um, to my Keymate memory. Uh, and what this will do is it will actually then use the Keymate actions to um, take this, this response that it just gave you and it will save it to your Keymate memory so that you can recall it, you can um, customize it, add notes, whatever it is, it's stored personally for you. Um, and that's, that's what's happening here. And again, in this history GPT, um, this could be not very useful to you, however, um, you know, this can be applied to whatever use case and whatever specific custom GPT that you create, this same feature can. Um, and you can actually see the endpoint calls right here. Um, if you go ahead and you click on them, uh, what you'll see is you'll see the function that was actually called, the endpoint specifically that was called. And we saw that earlier uh, while looking at all the endpoints. So that's awesome just to be able to check that out here. Um, and then it says it was successful and you can click on the link and this will take you to the saved response right in your Keymate, um, Keymate memory manager. So that's perfect, we'll, we'll refresh the page. Sweet, this is all the things that um, are currently in my Keymate memory and the first thing right at the top is um, just the response that we just added. You can add notes, you can change the name, uh, you could copy to ChatGPT again to use this if you made a new chat. Um, so it's all the features that you need are built right into Keymate, the Keymate memory manager. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll actually move it into this collection I created called History. Uh, so we'll hit Select, and then right in the bottom there we'll hit Move, and then we can add it to History. So now if we go to the History collection, we'll see all of the other previous um, responses I saved, as well as this new one. Now that everything else has been finalized, we can go ahead and we can actually publish this. So go ahead and hit Create in the top corner, um, and then you have three options, GPT store, anyone with the link, and only me. Uh, for this, we'll go only me, which means it's private and only you can use it. Um, you hit create, and then you go ahead and click the link they give you. And as you can see, now the GPT is up and running um, exclusively for you. Uh, it, it'll work the same way if you choose one of the other options, although to put it on the GPT marketplace, you have to have a developer account, which is easy to set up, but is required. All right, everyone, that's it for this Keymate AI use case video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI use case videos in the future, and to check out the description for all the text used to create this use case.